Hey everyone and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Lauren, this is Emily. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors and today we're so excited to share a perfect recipe for hosting game day parties or even just for an easy weeknight meal. Yes, today we're making maple bourbon slow cooker barbecue chicken sandwiches with apple slaw. Yes, it's a <laughs> mouthful um, and there's so, as you can see, we have a lot going on here. We promise it's gonna be pretty easy and most importantly, it tastes amazing. Yes, yes. So let's get rolling. We're going to start off with our slow cooker um, for our maple barbecue bourbon chicken. Um, so today we're using chicken breasts um, and I would remiss if I didn't mention that today we're using for our slow cooker these slow cooker bags which amazing. are awesome. Um, so you can find them by the other plastic bags and aluminum foil in the store um, and essentially they just fit right over your slow cooker. And you put everything in and then cleanup is a breeze because you just throw this plastic away. Total game changer. Yes. Um, so today we're using two pounds of chicken breast. You could also use um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs would mm -hmm. be another good option. Um, and then we're gonna mix together all of our ingredients for our sauce. Um, so the first ingredient is ketchup. So we got that in here. Um, the next ingredient, um, we're using um, bourbon. So this is Jim Beam. You could use whatever bourbon you have yep. on hand at home. So the alcohol in here is more than likely gonna cook off in the slow cooker, but if you wanna be 100% sure that there isn't any alco alcohol in here, uh, you could also substitute chicken broth for the bourbon. Yes, definitely. Um, then we've got some Dijon mustard. We've also got maple syrup, sweeten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some apple cider vinegar. And then we've got some Worcestershire sauce. Just gonna get these out of the way here. And then we've got a little bit of molasses. So we're doing a tablespoon, so essentially just a, a spoonful of yep. molasses. And then we will just whisk this together to make our sauce. Super easy. In a lot of ingredients that you may already have yes, on, on hand, hand at home. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have a couple seasonings, which are gonna be really good. Um, we've got some onion powder, some garlic powder, and then a little bit of crushed red pepper. Give it a little Perfect. bit of kick. We'll whisk these in. And then we're just gonna pour this right over the top of our chicken. And this will cook on low for four to six hours or on high for two hours. Get this out of the way here. Um, and we actually have some that's already prepared. So I'm going to go exchange this back here. All right, and while Lauren's doing that, I'm gonna get started on our slaw. So we're gonna be making an apple slaw. And the first ingredient we're using is a little bit of broccoli slaw. You can find this in our produce department. And it's really just shredded up broccoli with a little bit of carrots and cabbage. It's perfect for stir fries and uh, coleslaws like this, this type, dish, type of dish. We're gonna use a whole bag of this. Right. Then we're gonna add a little bit of green onion or scallions, and they're just sliced up, along with some apple. Uh, we have just cut this up into matchsticks. We're using a Granny Smith just to kind of get a tart a sweet and tart kind of flavor in here. I'm just gonna give this a quick little mix. Grab this bowl out of here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And then for our dressing, which is also super simple, we're using a little bit of nonfat plain Greek yogurt. Kind of fitting with that nice and tangy yes. theme. Also a better for you option. Yep. Gives us a little bit more protein than something like mayo. All right, a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten this up. Some Dijon. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. And some salt and pepper. So really easy. Um, we'll just give this a whisk. And this applesaw is really gonna complement um, all the flavors of our maple bourbon chicken yes. really well. Um, just with that slightly sweet tangy, we'll kind of balance out all the savory flavors that we have with our chicken. And this can really be used on any sort of sandwich, um, not necessarily just with our maple bourbon chicken. It gives the sandwich a nice crunch as well. Absolutely. Pour this in here. All right, I take that from you. Thank you. Give a 
this mix, and then that's really all for this slaw. Super easy. So while Emily is mixing together our slaw, um, we're gonna check out our, our chicken here. It smells it so, does. so good. Um, so what we would do here, all the chicken is cooked through, um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred our chicken. Um, so I'm just gonna grab one to sh shred. Um, and we just shred it with um, two forks, and it is pretty tender. Okay, so this is pretty well shredded here. So I'm going to transfer it back into our slow cooker. And again, I'm just shredding one um, right now. Put this back in, help it soak up some of that extra Delicious juicy sauce. flavor. Get rid of this bowl. And then I'm going to grab um, our bun for our sandwiches. Um, so today we're using the sprouted seven grain buns from a bakery department. So sprouted grains, a whole grain, um, which is a really delicious and better for you option. Yep. But of course you could use like a pretzel bun or gluten-free bun. Yep. So now time to make the beautiful sandwich. Make sure to get a lot of this good <laughs> sauce Don't in miss here. Out on that. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, it smells so, it so good. This is such a great and easy recipe just to have out all day for people over at your house, whatever it may be. All right, Let's give you a little bit of, some of this slaw. delicious apple slaw. Oh all my right. gosh, yum. All right, I'm gonna dive right into this sandwich here. So, so good. Looks and smells amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so yummy. You are definitely gonna wanna make this for your next home getting party. Well, we hope you give this fall-inspired slow cooker recipe a try. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.